Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Lay Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. Going to be doing a love reading for the sign Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Going to tap into the energy of the person that's connecting to you in love. I'm going to pull a few oracles to see how they feel about you, see the energy of this connection. So if you're a cross watcher here for Taurus, remember flip switch the energies roles. If this does not resonate to your story, Taurus, check out other placements. I do have personals available if you're interested. You can connect with me through the email provided in the description box for this video. So I call upon spirit guides and angels for Taurus. Show me the energy of the person that's connecting to them in love. How does this person feel about Taurus? Show me the energy of, how, of the person that's connecting to them in love. How does this person feel about Taurus? Who's connecting here? Time. Needing time. Now is not the time. Time will bring unexpected changes. So a feeling of insert uncertainty in regards to love at this time. The lightning is always tower energy for me. Right? I feel that something crumbled. There was a foundation that crumbled because it was built on some type of falsicity. On um, was built on deception. And there's an energy now of things needing to play out. So things are starting to settle. After this tower moment, something was destroyed because it needed to be. There was deception here. And now it's just all happening in divine timing. And there's uncertainty is what I feel in regards to love, Taurus. Bottom of the deck, party in the reverse. So I feel like you're focused on healing at this time. You know, you're really taking your energy inward. You're not ignoring the situation. You're actually feeling your feelings. So... It's like being in it is what I'm getting. The time for you right now is to kind of process where you are at currently in this cycle. You're not avoiding your situation, which you may have done in the past through artificial means, right? Partying, avoidance. So the energy that I'm getting here, Taurus, is that you're taking this time to really reflect on what didn't work and why it didn't work. And that's important. So you may feel stagnant in that. But that is where you need to be in the present moment is what I'm feeling. All right. So I'm going to pull an oracle in regards to the energy of love that surrounds you. All right. So guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, please show me the energy of love that's connected to Taurus in regards to this message. What does Taurus need to know in regards to the energy of love that surrounds them at this time? So if you have not done so, please subscribe. Hit the notification button for when I upload content. I would really appreciate it. Show me the energy of love that's connected to the Taurus collective and what does Taurus need to know? Show me the energy of love that's connecting to Taurus. Separation in the reverse. So this just came out for Aries. Not sure if you are on the Aries Taurus cusp or if you have Aries in your chart feeling Libra energy as well. So separation, it says sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. You're not fearful of the future is what I feel. And you're not focused on anyone else at this time. I feel in the energy that you're in at this time, Taurus, is about yourself. You know, you're in alignment at this time. You're in the flow from the universe in regards to what has fallen away from you. If something has fallen away from you, it's because it wasn't meant to, it, it wasn't meant for you. We have an energy of love at the bottom of the deck, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, position, affection, attraction, right? So I feel in this energy, you're taking your energy back and you're investing it in yourself. You are not taking account, like you're not taking, um, you're not moving forward with the past. If there's detachment from the past is what I feel. You're working on unconditional love towards yourself, self-love. And when you increase your vibration through self-love and investment, you attract that, right? So you increase your vibration. So I do feel from this place of being present in your situation and learning from, what, from you know, your cycle, something broke away from you for a reason because it was time that caused some separation, but you're not, you're not stuck on that. You're in alignment is what I feel. And you're in an alignment of love, Taurus, is the energy that I'm getting. So I'm going to pull some tarot to dig a little bit deeper here. 
So I call upon Taurus's spirit guides and angels to give me a clear message in regards to how this person feels about Taurus, the person that's connecting to them in love. Protect my energy and vibration as well as the collective as I channel this message. Show me the energy of the person that's connecting to Taurus and love and how this person feels about Taurus. So if you like the way that I read tarot, I do have personals available. If you're interested in something specific to your energy, you can connect with me through the email provided and I can set up a personal reading. It's in the description box or on my channel. So the person that's connecting to you in love, there's an energy of the world. So closing of cycle. Now is the time to close cycle. It's about starting new, starting fresh. You've separated from somebody and, and you've accepted that is not your path. Whomever has fallen away from you, Taurus, you are accepting of that because it's in divine timing, right? And now you need time to, you know, um, reassess the situation, really go inward and, and feel your feelings and process what you're going through, what you've been through, because you've learned some very valuable lessons with that world energy, right? You are in alignment and trusting in the, the universe's plan for you is what I'm getting here. We've got four of swords, energy, healing. So whomever is connected to you feels like you've pulled your energy back from them. Give me more on how this person feels about Taurus spirit. Give me more energy on how this person feels about Taurus. Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles represents Virgo energy. And then we've got the Hierophant in the reverse, Taurus energy. So whomever is connected to you is wanting communication, wanting to communicate with you, but they're not feeling very confident. They recognize that you've closed cycle with them. This is someone that you are possibly married to with the Hierophant in the reverse. I'm getting a lot of similar messages from the Aries reading that I just did. You may want to check that out for more messages for you. But there's an energy definitely of someone that you are in separation from that you're closing cycle with. This is someone that you are possibly married to in a very serious commitment. It is This person has been part of your journey to learn valuable lessons in closing cycles and growing and expanding. It's teaching you to learn how to invest in, in something other than another person. It's about investment in self is kind of what I'm getting here. But this is someone that did not share the same morals and values. This is someone that you disconnected from because this person isn't meant to move forward with you is what I'm getting. King of Swords energy validation. This is communication. King of Swords is about communication. This message that I'm sharing with you, Taurus, is the communication that you need. I'm speaking to you from your spirit guides and your angels. This is clarity. All right. You may also receive communication from this person that is trying to build up the confidence to communicate with you, but they're only coming in as a page. Right. So that's about needing time as well. This page of pentacles energy is about needing time, but there is expansion here. There is growth is what I feel. This person recognizes that you've detached from them and that you're no longer um, invested in them. Certainly is what I feel. Show me how Taurus feels about this person. Show me how Taurus feels about this person. So possibly this person is going to reconnect and ask to come out of this lack energy to come back towards you. Could be. But I do feel that you're you're not considering that with the hair font and the reverse of the world. You're very clear and moving in a different direction. So this person probably knows that would like to come out of separation with you with that page energy. But this person knows that you've closed cycles. So show me how Taurus feels about this person. How does Taurus feel about this person, spirit? The tower. You're in acceptance. You're in alignment. You know that whatever is falling away from you, it's it's happening for your greatest good. It is in divine timing. Look at this energy. It's 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 validation. Your spirit guides and angels, king king of swords energy, Libra energy. It's telling this is pure communication on the energy that surrounds you in regards to this person, in regards to love. Right? You need time. Now is not the time. Time will bring on expected changes. You are in the flow. You're accepting that whatever you're walking away from closing cycle with is for your greatest good. Because whomever you're detaching from, that foundation, right? The hair font in the reverse and the tower is showing you that whatever was built was built on lies and falsities. This person that was connecting to you is not of the same moral value, encompasses you. This person is not of the same integrity. This person was deceptive and honest within, dishonest within your connection. And your guides and angels are validating of that. There's lessons learned here. So now is the time for you to um, heal and to, 
you know, invest in yourself with that page of pentacles, learning new ways of investment in self now that you've closed out a cycle that meant something to you. The Hierophant energy is a commitment and it's not one that's taken lightly that got turned upside down is what I feel. Bottom of the deck, we've got temperance energy, which is Sagittarius energy. It's about divine imbalance. There was a divine imbalance within a soulmate connection where there was potential that was built on falsities and lies. So the tower happened because of this imbalance. It's validation of seeing that is what I feel, Taurus. Show me more in regards to how Taurus feels about this person that's energetically connecting to them in love. Give me more energy on that tower. You definitely want to be watching the Aries video. Very similar message. We've got Seven of Cups. Options. You have options moving forward. There's a lot of you learning about yourself learning how to express your emotions, learning how to choose where you're investing your energy and love is what I feel. You have a lot of options and a lot of people that are wanting your energy, Taurus. So this is a time for you to take that energy and put it inwards. It's about learning how to um, use your energy. You, you have a lot of love to give with that Seven of Cups energy, I feel. That's Scorpio energy. You may have a Scorpio even coming towards you with new options of love right? But not everybody is who they seem. And that's a part of your lesson. I feel that whomever came into your energy in the past was to teach you something very valuable about when you give your energy of love, someone took a lot of your energy without giving back is what I feel. And your guides and angels are showing validation on that. It wasn't equal. There was imbalance in the exchange of emotions, in the exchange of love. You were not giving what you were giving. So that's part of your cycle about ending this cycle. Ten of Swords, there was deception. This person deceived you in regards to your feelings and emotions. Like I'm just drawn to the snake kind of devil energy, right? You were dealing with someone that was not who they seemed. The Seven of Cups can indicate masked energy, right? Someone operating under an illusion. So because this person was not being authentic or honest with you, Taurus, I feel that your angels and guides, the universe struck down this, you know, look at this double tower energy here, took down the foundation that was not valid or, or built on reality because this person wasn't being authentic or honest. And I feel you know that now with the tower and the seven of cups. Give me another card on how Taurus feels about this person. Temperance repeated. Like very much validating what I'm telling you. Maybe dealing with Sagittarius here, Taurus. But there's definitely an indication from your guides and your angels. There was a lack of balance in the, in, the, in the love energy, right? Someone was giving more than receiving and someone was pretending. And that's absolute validation from your guides and angels to pull your energy back. And I feel that you did. And so now in the energy that you're in at this time, it's taking this energy, learning how to use it in a new way. So it's about bringing that energy inward and learning new ways of love, loving yourself, loving others as well, loving others without leaving yourself out, right? This person was very okay with just taking your energy without reciprocating. So it's about learning new ways of love is what I'm getting here. Let me know if this val it validates your story. If this resonates with you, please show me the um, energy of this connection. Please show me the energy surrounding this connection. Please give me more spirit. We've got nine of cups in the reverse. You were dealing with someone that was very avoidant of feelings and emotions, Taurus. Whomever you're connecting to, this person has addictions. Okay, this person avoids their feelings through addictions. Could be multiple addictions, could be alcohol, could be sex, could be money, materialism, whatever. Take it how it resonates, but this person avoids their feelings. This person wore a mask in regards to their feelings. This person's very fear-based in regards to avoidance of feelings and emotions. And that caused you some type of codependency, I feel. that caused you a lot of um, someone just taking, taking, taking. Nine of cups in the reverse, not being fed, not being given. So this person gave you nothing in regards to filling your cup, but they were very clear to take is what I feel. Bottom of the deck energy, queen of cups, they miss you. They miss your love. This is very similar energy to the Aries reading I just released, right? They miss your love. You have the ability to love in a way that's very special. Your heart's open. Now you're healing from something where there was a lot of disappointment, a lot of illusion, 
but you're still moving and manifesting with your heart open. You are so grounded in regards to your heart is what I feel, Taurus. That's Cancer Energy. Nine of Cups is Pisces. You may be dealing with a Pisces. Give me more energy on the connection, Spirit. Give me more on that Nine of Cups in the reverse for Taurus and whomever they're connecting in love. The Moon, Pisces again. You may be dealing with Pisces. You're dealing with a codependent individual that operates from fear, that has a lot of secrets. This person has addictions. Could be to sex. Could be to alcohol. I feel this person's drowning. And you had to detach from this person because of all these secrets and lies, Taurus. Is what I feel. The moon energy. It's trusting, right? Like just, I'm just, this person's sinking. This person would take you down with them. And your angels and guides are validating that's not your path any longer. You need to learn or accept that all of this is happening for your greatest good. Six of pentacles in the reverse. That's your energy. There was no balance. Right? There was no balance. It was all taking, taking, taking from your heart, taking from your emotions, taking from your stability. This person that you were dealing with struggles. This person definitely is dealing with addictions and, and are very much in avoidance of feelings, possibly because of childhood trauma is what I'm feeling here. This person's sinking. What will the outcome be between Taurus and this person? So I call upon Taurus, guides and angels. What will the outcome be between Taurus and this person? Knight of Swords in the reverse. Pulling your energy back. No longer investing. Not dwelling on the past is what I feel. So a lack of movement from this person. Acceptance that it's closing. Acceptance that everything is happening in divine timing. The justice here. Libra energy balancing of the scales temperance in the reverse it wasn't balanced but there's balance coming towards the situation your guides and angels are telling you not to do anything detach continue to invest in yourself you've released something very toxic you've released a codependent fear-based person that's struggling with addiction this person lacks accountability and they're going to receive karma for the consequences of the choices that are made we've got three of cups it's finding your balance, finding happiness, moving towards love. Cancer energy is what I feel, finding your tribe. Another card on the outcome. Why the Knight of Swords in the reverse and justice. King of Swords. Communication. This is validation for what I'm saying to you. I think you see things very clearly. There's no illusion any longer. You're sitting very comfortably in what it is that you see. You feel very validated in that King of Swords energy. More Libra. So the outcome is just. You will have clarity in regards to the situation. Karma is coming and you will see it is what I feel. Let me know if this resonates, Taurus. If you want to connect for a personal, please, I'd be honored to do so. Take care. Bye.